Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss what is the difference between Canvas app and model driven apps. Okay, so even if you do not know how to code, Microsoft Power Apps will turn you and all of your colleagues into citizen developers. The low coding platform enables business to build their own custom applications or more accurately the business employees the very people who will end up working with these apps power apps is being advertised as a drag and drop app builder that requires no coding experience from users while that is true it is only part of the story since there are actually two different types of apps that can be created with the power apps platform one is a canvas app and other one is a model driven app so to the certain extent canvas and model driven power apps are the same thing after all the you know uh, both are uh, business apps that can be created by non developers they share similar components and the end results are often only slightly different so the difference lies in user control and use cases so some application scenarios are better suited for canvas app other for model driven app so we'll just know what is like what are power apps okay i mean canvas power app canvas power apps get their name from the visual canvas that greets users when they decide to create this type of power app okay it looks rather like a empty powerpoint slide and provides a background on which to drag and drop various elements like uh, you know controls actions images uh, objects like that thus canvas app are uh, true low coding apps they do not require coding uh, know how uh, however understanding how excel operations work and uh, some experience with web and application surfaces is useful so users have full control over uh, every single aspect of a resulting app including size and formatting of its components since canvas app allow for a high degree of creativity and flexibility no two canvas apps are exactly the same uh, and canvas app are chiefly used for uh, mobile devices they are not responsive by design and there are only two basic layouts that is one is a uh, form i mean phone form, form factor and a tablet form factor one is a phone form factor and other one is a tablet form factor okay whether we can create the canvas application like a uh, one with the phone layout or with the tablet layout okay this type of uh, power app is not restricted to particular data source there are around uh, 275 plus connectors available to integrate existing um, you know uh, data easily among those uh, sharepoint microsoft 365 or dynamics 365 okay and uh, canvas apps are generally used to create a simple apps with a particular purpose such as holiday request uh, data recording checklist it help ticketing so so on like etc we can say like multiple things so now let's see the model driven app so model driven app on other hand follow a data first approach so they have the ability to generate data models and are the suitable for more complex and sophisticated business applications so they also require more technical know how uh, than canvas app the basics of a model driven app is always a data model which can be pre existing in d365 or a common data service that is a cds now it is called as you know dataverse right so built from scratch model driven apps are based on cds and executed in dynamics 365 so the resulting app is controlled more by the data and information entered than by the user creating it in other words we can say that input determines outcome okay so users have a less control over layout and functionality than with the canvas apps the app conforms uh, to the data rather than the other way around so the result is more uh, rigid design in which user interface components are pre made and selected based on underlying data so user can edit individual elements however uh, model driven apps are responsive by design so as we discussed in canvas app it is not responsive but uh, this 
model driven app is responsive by design so with the model driven power apps de developers have uh, numerous features at their disposal to customize the application to their needs that would not uh, ever be possible with out of box solution and the model driven power apps can be customized and adapted with javascript okay their functionality is comparable to that of uh, dynamics 365 customer engagement uh, like uh, from user roles to exchange integration and uh, business uh, process flows so i can say a few like uh, model driven uh, power uh, apps use cases model driven power apps are ideal to expand uh, business process by tables fields and relations to optimize data models as well as inferring uh, business logic from business tools process and uh, forms with which user can interact so uh, design of business process and workflows opportunity management customer service management even management end to end solution and uh, coming to the embed power apps so even though there are two types of power apps it is not a strictly canvas or uh, not strictly with the model driven app canvas app can be embedded in model driven app in this scenario like the later uh, provide the back end for the former this combination of both types of power apps is referred to as an uh, embedded app but uh, maybe you will be having uh, one doubt like when we can create this uh, power app like uh, when we can create the canvas app or when we can create a model driven app right so if you have listened so far what i have said you probably already have a good idea when to use uh, which type of power apps it is very much depends on your business requirements and process structure so canvas app provide more flexibility and user control and more suited for simple goal oriented application so coming to the model driven apps they are not like as pleasing to the eyes canvas app however they provide a distinct and uh, defined business process which users must follow and allow users to harvest the full potential of cds so this is the um, uh, like main differences between a canvas app and model driven app thank you